We all got phones and he's got big computer. I have everything on my computer. Oh, I don't have everything instead of having on? I do. We're on. All right. Call this meeting to order. Um, do we need to do roll call now that everybody's here? We don't. <laughs> no? <clears throat> I mean, you could everyone could introduce themselves. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. Huh? I still remember who everybody who's is. That, who's that guy on the end over there? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> can you come up with the names right away? <laughs> yeah, well, I can, especially yours. They're right there in front of me. <laughs> I, I had to write them down. <laughs> These guys, uh, I... Easier All right. Um, so we uh, we have certainly have no need for an appointment of an alternate tonight. We got a full house, which is uh, a great thing. So uh, we'll entertain approval of the agenda. Any changes to the agenda? There are a couple changes. Um, so case P twenty one twenty one has to continue the case, and I um, put case P twenty one twenty three by mistake. It should be P twenty one twenty one. Right. And the request to continue. And then the first one is listed as P2121. Correct. That's what yeah. you said. Yeah. That's the one where that's, yep. gonna that's gonna be so just, rescheduled. That's yes. Okay. okay. That's the next one. So I just wanted to fix So that. we'll start with number two basically. Um 2123. Yeah. So okay, pardon me. I didn't read the line right above that. Sorry. <laughs> So we'll start with number. Well, I better read that one first too. So we start with twenty one twenty five. Oh. Wow. We'll start with twenty one twenty five. Yeah. But I have a couple more. All right. So what do we okay. have? Okay. We have first two are gone. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Go ahead. I, I don't have twenty three. Twenty one. Can you? Oh, you can you? Right agenda. Show him what I'm talking about. Yep. Please. This is continued to next month, yeah. I believe. This one already was continued to the sixteenth. And this one right here has been completed 2125. That one is so well. We're right. Yeah, well, we're going to start at 26, I think, because 25 is continued. 2125. No, we're starting with 21, 25. Okay, she's, okay, I see what the problem the, But I see the problem. It says case P2123 there and P2123 there. Yes. Those two. The first are, one should have been 2121. Right. I'm just as bad as he is. <laughs> Well, okay. 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 So right, what else this do we is have? 21. Page two. That was 23. Page two under old business um, under C. I added an invoice, um, the latest invoice from Tara. Um, she's our master plan consultant. Yeah. Right. Um, any um, other under any other business to come before the board? Um, I struck that through. We weren't quite prepared to come to the planning board. We need some more time to prepare. Um, so we're rescheduling that till next month. So C's rescheduled. Um, no. Go down further. Down further. Than under any, any other, other business. Any other business. Oh, that's right. a whole separate heading. Um, and I do have, um, I don't have the actual correspondence. Um, I was trying to get an email from Amelia. She applied to be on the master plan committee. Um, I don't have the actual application, but if you want to take my word for it, she does want to be on it. Take your um, word for so it. So <laughs> I'm going to add that as A under number three. Make a motion to accept the agenda as amended. Second. second. First and second. Yep. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> all right. So, uh, so we're going to skip right down to Item number three, which is a completeness review of the application for uh, 11 Locomotive Drive. Actually, one. One locomotive, yep. Yeah, oh, sorry, one locomotive. Yeah, see, I, I put these down. Um, <laughs> one locomotive drive. So first, we guess we'll take a look at the completeness aspect of this. Do you have anything... Jessica, that we need to be aware of. There were um, there were just some questions on the plan itself, and um, I'm sure that Tom Barney's either fixed them already or will on the final plan.
And just to let you know, um, John Dever, the code official, is on the phone okay. tonight to help assist um, explain his comments. If you guys on have on this one here? On this case, okay. yes. <clears throat> There's a good letter. I don't know if you've seen it yet. But I do. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to accept application 2125 as complete. I will second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So uh Hi, if you would just uh, speak into the microphone, just, yes. you know, give us your name uh, so that we know. I'm Scott Bloomer. I'm Robin Bloomer. Tom Barney. All right. So you want to walk us through what your plan is here? Yeah, Scott and Robin uh, Bloomer are the present owners of the campground. This is Spring Haven. This is in West Alton, in case you don't know. Okay. I like to live year round in the railroad building. Railroad building will be expanded. All additions to provide living space. Railroad building will still provide bathrooms and laundromat service for the campus. There. Railroad building has a septic system and water supply connections. All campsites are to remain seasonal. On the packet, a uh, diagrams of the uh, in addition to the uh, railroad, which <coughs> and which is a small difference. So, yeah, I have pictures of railroad buildings. And what else I have? But we, site plan last time was done in 2013. Quite extensive site plan, everything that's here that's on that land is shown on this plan. So I've updated that and I highlighted the railroad building in red and I added a small addition. So I made notes, so I've added the parking spaces. That is a paved entrance, <coughs> entrance apron the road, I've shown that. There was a sign that was out in the right of way. I, put it back where it is on the land. And uh, that's that's about it. That's, uh, all we're asking is that the uh, condition that was on the site plan in 2013 be changed to allow them to live in it. Year -round. This has been reviewed by John Dever, town attorney. I had questions about it because of being on the board at that time, but um, John's letter explains everything as far as I'm concerned. And it, uh, you know, I no longer have a single problem. One of the uh, things that uh, stood out to me is the fact that other campgrounds in town, although this, the, the uh, guideline is that uh, there'd be no uh, year round uh, living, uh, they have their owners live on the property. So I think being consistent with that would be important. Well, and that's one of the things that John mentioned was that it only be occupied by owners. Yeah. Not, yes. Uh, not a rental. Yeah. <coughs> we are the owners and we yeah. will be living there, just the two of us. Not gonna, no short term rentals. Right now. No, oh, no, never. I think having the owners living on site is only a benefit. Uh, Absolutely. In my mind. Oh, yes. Um, and originally, one of the uh, things that, that pushed us to approve this was we wanted to see the railroad station preserved. Yeah. So yeah. it's a beautiful building. We're looking forward to no, it. No, I mean, you know, <laughs> that was the whole idea was it was going to become a community rec a recreation center. But, you know, if it can be preserved better this way, that's fine. Yeah. We'd love to be able to be there all year round and keep an eye it's on the a, property. We, we, we already paid that we'll better it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many bedrooms will this be? One. One bedroom. Yeah. 
So I think that uh, John John's letter did a great job outlining. And, and John, do you want to speak to your uh, take on this? Do you have him muted or is he? Oh, he's there. Uh, he's there. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I put all, you know, pretty much all of it. I'm obviously, I'm very familiar with the property from previous, uh, dealing to the previous owner. Um, but it's from 2013 on, it has been, you know, everything's been established. It's been stabilized, or not stabilized, but, uh, Operated accordance with all the things that were given. We had one minor issue which we got resolved. Um, but <coughs> the, it's a, it's a good use of it. And like I said in my letter, that we do which for residential so that's for you. So using the property as such is not a, an issue. Uh, and we do have a number of mixed uses. Uh, the, uh, the I did, you know, what I Put in there was a suggestion for a condition that's pleasure as to how they exactly want to word that but i did feel it was all, it would be important to say that it should be used strictly for uh the the full-time residence of the owners or if they have an agent who is going to be living on site for that then that purpose but not for uh, another seasonal or rental use right. I think you also hadn't you highlighted the separation uh, that the residential use would be on the first floor only. Did I read that yeah, in your letter? That was yeah. also conditioned previously. Um, obviously, they're going to want the the addition that I put in my letter. The purpose of the addition is to provide a little bit of storage space up above, but primarily to have a stairwell that lets them access the basement from inside the building. Uh, presently, you have to go out. <laughs> And down and come back in to the basement, but to have access from the inside from upstairs uh, to the mechanicals, electrical, that type of thing, I think would be a, would be positive. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't see any floor plans, just simply the addition, but obviously you give up square footage of living space if you cut a staircase into the. Oh, there's not much room <laughs> <that far. laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. I, I did the numbers. The existing floor space is a little over 800 square feet. How does the septic loading stack up? <clears throat> How many campsites are there? How many washers are there? Oh, it's 30 sites, and the septic is uh, the two septic systems. That included the uh, railroad building right from the get go. That was in 2001. Yeah. I'm not adding anything to it. Well, you're adding a single bedroom house. It's planned for in that 2001 approval. The, the foundation was there before the railroad and was proposed. Did that, did that calculate in 500 gallons per washer a day? It might have. That we need to verify. <clears throat> John, you had something to add to that? No, I, I, I do not. Okay. Uh, any other comments uh, thoughts from the board? I think it's a great idea. They make for less problems in the neighborhood. <laughs> the first thing we have to do is revoke the yep. restriction. Uh, Wait. Well, we, we I have public. Oh, I know, but I'm just, I'm just, I know, but I'm just asking. In other words, before we can even approve, if we approve, we have to revoke the requirement Previous restriction. Yeah, restriction. I'm, I'm just feeling things out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and and Jessica, you've got uh, fire department's comments in your hand. Yep. So. The, yeah, so the fire department uh, basically had said smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms installed per code, as well as egress windows, which I'm not sure if that's going to be a challenge or not. But no, looking at it, be. didn't look like it would be. No. Um, and then if it was a short term rental, which, which it is not. So, okay. And then we had a. And then we have a, a letter from uh, 
Judith Pennock. And I don't know, is, is she here or just submitted via letter? So, um, but she did voice against the proposal. Um, uh, does not provide a reason, just simply she's against it. Yeah, we figured we that might happen. She's against it because she did not get along with the previous owner, but yeah, we're a whole new entity. We're new owners. He's gone. His family's gone. So there shouldn't be any issue with her. She doesn't even know us. Yeah. The, um, uh, just a point of reference. Uh, her address was given, I believe, as Manchester. Okay. And so that would suggest that she's not a full time resident. No, she doesn't. She has, she's only there in the summertime. Yeah, to summer yeah. residents on the lake. And she, she's down a railroad ab. We're up in Route 11. We don't even see her. Uh, I don't know what she looks like or anything. So um, this it's not historically registered or anything, is it? it does... That that train station was moved there. Right. Right. Right, but as a structure, <laughs> it's not registered. No, no, I've, there's only a couple of buildings uh, registered in town. Yeah. So, yeah. anything else from the board? Yeah, one one thing that we see here uh, on the fire department report, number one here, that is absolutely no control of the fire department. That's on the building codes. Um, so, for them to be putting that on here is just really redundant. Um, that's John's purview in the Knox box. <clears throat> if there's a need for it, I think they're the greatest things around. They're they're handy. They they save doors. Um, if you have a problem, they use a key instead of a Halligan bar. So it, <laughs> that was only if it's short term rental. So <laughs> they're not going to be right. renting, so they don't need yeah. the But but even for the whole property, um, it, if every if you're ever going to be unattended and you like gate it off if you close. Yeah, we do have the, the locks. Yeah. You, the you have the box. locks. Lock? Okay, yeah, yeah. then that's that's all you need then because that's that's really good. Yeah. Um, anybody from the public here to uh, speak? You are. You, would you like to come up and take the chair and announce your name, please, to the microphone? Hi, I'm Carol St. Jean. Um, I live on 11 Anniversary Hill Road, and they have been nothing but accommodating. And we live, literally live back to back to each other. And there really is not a problem. And if anybody feels that there is an issue, then they really need to sit and talk with Robin and Scott. They've been nothing but good new owners. And like I said, we have no issue with it. I spoke with my neighbor as well. She couldn't make it here today, but she um, voiced the same opinion that, you know, we, we approve of. We would love them to live there full time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I have to say. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? So with that, we'll close our public session. Um, Tom, you got anything else to add or? Uh, no, I don't think so. I can correct the um, spelling on the, the name block there. Yeah, they're just minor. <clears throat> right. Anything else from the board? I just would like to see the septic loading just verified because I don't know if that 500 gall gallon a day for the washing machine was in there, and that's important. Yeah, <clears throat> I will. I will do that. Thanks, John. Wasn't that a whole new system, John? Yeah. It has two, two large fields. Yeah. Good soils, hence the name of the park. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll entertain a motion. <laughs> Look at me. We're all looking at Joe. <laughs> okay. Mr. Chairman, on case <clears throat> P21 25 to approve. The, okay, this is a site plan um, of Springhaven Campground. We technically have to remove the restriction. Okay, uh, I'll, shit, let me start over. <laughs> I can't even call this case P21. In the case of, of Sandy Beach Trailer Park, or mobile home, uh, San, Springhaven Campground, Seven. to rescind the previous 
um, zoning, the planning board restriction of um, non year round use. Is there a date for that or something? <laughs> so uh, that, that, that condition went into effect on January 16th of 2007. That's exactly the day I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Okay, so we have so a motion from Scott. It was Virgil, you seconded that? It's, it's restricting the, the use for the owners only. For owners or full-time agent. Or it's for residential Well, Tom, use. you should have made this thing. It would have been much easier on me. I couldn't find the wording. <laughs> <laughs> I got my bifocals on. No, well, we should probably clear that first, right? And, and then do a new motions. motions. All right, exactly. Mr. Chairman, you have yeah, your yeah. call. Yeah, we need to do, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, makes sense. Okay, so you've got that. All right. Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Next motion. Mr. Chairman, on case P21 25 to approve the site plan of Springhaven Campground, LLC, um, to able to use the train station as a year-round permanent residence, and also to have the planning board, I mean, the building inspector verify septic loading and uh, no short-term no short rentals. And I would add that condition on page uh, two of John's letter. Okay. And to include John's letter, page I'm two. Gonna, do you want me to read it? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Um, so limit occupation of the upper level train station as a full-time residence for only the owners or a formally designated agent, and that it shall not be used at any point as a short-term rental. Yeah. Very good way to put that. Thank you. I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Well so Thank much. you. Your predecessor definitely caused issues. Yeah. I know. <laughs> We've been there for 15 years. He, he, he burned a motorcycle one night. That wasn't that didn't go over well. <laughs> oh, I only saw, saw pieces of one. <laughs> Good luck. There pieces around there. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, John. Have a good night. Thank you. He constantly had a backhoe moving. Oh, no. All right. So the next case, G21-26, lot line adjustments, map 10, lots 6 and 6-1 through 6-11 Avery Hill Road, adjusting the boundaries between 12 existing smaller lots of record to create five conforming lots. Jesse, are you having a fire sale on lot line adjustments or something? <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign out front of the office. Yeah, this week. <laughs> oh, good. Did you? Because I got to tell you, I, I, I went cross-eyed looking at this thing, trying to understand this. I have two plans to show you. That's the existing plan, and I'll flip it over and show you the proposed plan as soon as we get started. Oh. All right. Um, so. Uh, Completeness. Yeah, we, uh, so we were complete. So I, think there was so I think you should do the waivers before you do completeness. Okay. Well, we got to move that up on our list then. Um, all right, so we have uh, looks like three waivers requests here. Yep. Uh, first waiver, uh, section seven, F.7 G, showing all jurisdictional wetlands and the 25 foot buffer. I'm just going to read through them all right now. We can decide if we want to tackle them one at a time or not later. Uh, section 7, F.7.H, showing all areas with steep slopes in excess of 25%. Uh, and Section 7, F.7I, showing minimum contiguous upland area for each lot, excluding jurisdictional wetlands and areas with slopes in excess of 25%. So. Mr. Chairman, I think that the uh, Conservation Commission had some comments about that. They did. 
Um, and I was at the meeting the other night, I'm on the Conservation Commission. Uh, the concerns were, if you don't show the slopes and you don't show where the wetlands are, it looks like there's a, um, there's one access uh, lot, if you will, that goes into the back and you don't know whether that's set up in such a way that you'll have a have to have a lot of impacts okay. on wetlands because you don't know what's there. So that's why the Conservation Commission uh, made that comment. Can I ask a question? Or do you want to answer? Why don't you answer that? I can answer that one for you. Actually, on the plan is the wetland delineation at the point in time when we made the submittal. The wetland delineation is now complete. It's just that you guys didn't have the updated plan when the submittal was done. So I asked for the waiver. But if you look on your plans, you'll see the wetland delineation on the sheet. So the wetlands have been delineated throughout the site. It's it has been, but it's not part of the submission or? It was, it's three quarters of the way shown on the plan. It, the, the last percentage was not shown, which would be on the range road side. Um, the wetland was not completed when we made the submittal, but the wetlands is now completed. And on the final plan, it'll show the wetland delineation on that side. Oh, I think <coughs> the, probably the Conservation Commission will be able to see that. Don't want to make some more comments. It was on the plan when the Conservation Commission looked at it. Wetlands was on the plan. What? The completed wetlands? The wetlands, as you show right here on the plan that you guys have, is about three quarters of the way done. It, so it shows you all the wetlands on the road frontage. It's, it, you know. I'm confused. I'm a cartographer. <laughs> I can, I'm looking at this and I'm not certain where the wetlands are. Yeah. Um, I, I, th there's no definition. There's, you have the wetland marks near a dry stream bed or a stream bed, but I don't know where the limits are. Right. That's the problem. There should be topography on that, I suppose. And as this goes, and as I approach this, it was a lot line adjustment. This is not a subdivision. We're taking 12 lots and making them five. We're taking 11 quarter acre lots that are not conforming that predate the regulations. And we're now making them five lots that meet the regulations. I think that what the Conservation Commission observed was, okay, that's, you know, you're creating larger lots, but uh, the way they're being created and the access that is being provided off of Avery Hill Road into the back, um, you can't tell whether you're creating a problem or not. From a wetland point of view. Well, if I can say something to that point, the access to Avery Hill Road for that back lot is currently two different lots. We're trying to make them one. As it stands now, there are two lots at that location. Essentially, all we're doing is give them a little bit more on the backside. Right. But um, um, so this is your proposal. So in order to evaluate, right. what is it going to do in the future if you grant this? That's all. Right. Not not what exists today, but what you're proposing. The perspective of the wetlands board is that they want to see minimum impact on the property. And what it looks like right now is to get to the middle of the property, you would have to cross three wetlands. Uh, you can actually, the area that's being developed is actually, we have to show- Well, we have no idea what's being developed, but if you want to get to the center of the problem, property. You also have access off a of range road. Range road is a class six. We need to show frontage on a class five road, but we have complete access off a of range road, which gives you all the wetland upland area that you want to get to access to. But we have no idea which is the upland. Correct. That's why I asked for the waiver at this point. But, in time. But, but we're going to be approving it without knowing what the impacts are. <laughs> I mean, I can tell that the, the drainage is running towards Avery Hill Road, but you know, how steep is it? You know, we have no clue. Obviously, combining the lots is a is a marvelous thing. I mean, you couldn't get something built on those tiny lots, but um, well, I'm sure you could get yeah. Per the law, we could. Yeah, so it's up absolutely. to you whether you want all the little ones or you want some bigger ones. Per yeah. <laughs> the law, they the all are built. And, and, and you've got to access that land now. There's no change. I mean, there's access oh. to the outback. No, but the where he's make providing the access. Lots conforming. Right. We're taking so, everything so non-conforming like the, and making it work. The Conservation Commission wants another bite at the apple. No. Just need enough information so you can make a comment. Well, it's not the, there. It's It's not going to change. Getting out there, I mean, you like. What if said, what if cross, what if that uh, you got to cross three wetlands? You've already said. What that. if that access for wetlands board doesn't like that though? 
Yeah, but well, they might but deny that's, the. That, that's their but, problem. He has not, to go to the wetlands board and get the crossing. Right, but yeah. the, the, the the question becomes one from their point of view. If you propose the access in a location that doesn't require crossing the out the wetlands, that's what the wetlands board wants. Which is fine. We'll make that happen. That is fine. That is correct. Did you put this crossing? That's been there. The crossing. That access yes, point. Absolutely. That access yes. is so, there. and and that's a, right now that access point to the back section is two quarter acre lots, roughly. I, if my goal, long term goals, if this has any impact on your decisions, my long term goals is to build a home on the back part of that. When that happens, the only way I would ever do that is if I can turn that class six into my driveway. I have no intent of sneaking through that narrow pass off of Avery Hill Road. That's just to play the game and have 200 feet of road frontage on Avery Hill Road. I have no intent of ever using it. If anything happens there, that's going to turn into New Quarter 22 snowmobile trail down through that access. Yeah, where is the access? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I mean, that right away has been there. So, no matter if they cross now or 10 years from now, that, that's the right away that's in there. And it's been there. Right. So, so, so people, if they wanted to get up from there now, could just go to the wetlands and get an approval if they could get an approval. Exactly. Well, I think that you, you're taking some non-conforming and making conforming. So yeah, I, I think this is a plus to the whole situation. I, I would like to see the Range Road where you have it, because when you first I first read Range Road, I was over here behind McDonald's, <laughs> and that doesn't work. So I'm sure there is a, a name to that, or there should oh, be yeah. under the Clough Road yep. situation. So that should probably be I can update that. called something other than Range Road. <laughs> I can fix that. <clears throat> well, which brings us back to the waivers. Right. So we're still on waivers, right? Yeah, we sure are. Uh, but just so that I'm clear and understand this, that as this subdivision, you know, is currently laid out, there's nothing to stop 12 people from building homes. That is correct. Well, it'd be hard to put things you, on a Tom, lot that size. Tom, you'd be surprised. You could do it. Be surprised. There are lots. Probably there disappointed is yeah. more there. of the word that you'd probably use, but it's, it's a, it, you can, built on. yeah, they all can get be built on. Yeah. Okay. And it's not much different than anything in the Alton Shores area, lot size. It's exactly what is it? An expansion of Alton Shores is when this was originally done. 1954. Also sold through a shoe company. I wouldn't know. No, Alton Shores was. It was, okay. a, it, was a, it was a promotion from a shoe company. Well, New England box owned a lot of land around here too. <laughs> I'm not major and stuff like that. But, okay, um, so we still have to deal with these uh, these waivers. So, so <clears throat> just one more question. So this uh, um, extension from Avery Hill Road into the back lot has a frontage of 99. Three nine feet. Pl no, plus ninety nine point oh. So this is the oh, I see. It went over that way. It took so me a while to figure that one out. So you added. <laughs> uh, feet so that gives you your frontage on a class five road. Correct. But the access would be on the class six. Oh, well, we don't. There's no. That's, if if you did something. That's the intent. There's no in, that's, that's indication on this He's map. Not there that would be today. nothing to yeah, exactly. force him to use the right. the range road. <laughs> Right. The other, the old Range Road. Right. <laughs> so this will look at one, two, three, four lots, five, five lots plus the mix, five. plus the mother lot. <clears throat> four new lots plus the mother lot to be five. Twelve to five is a big change. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think since this is going to change anything, I will move to approve the. Waivers as presented. That, that so, would be, I'm sorry. Bye. So as part of your motion, you need to give reasons why. So there are two reasons why you would grant a waiver. So if you look on page two of the planner review, yeah. way down at the bottom, you either have A or the next page is B. So you'd have to state either A or B as to the reason why are you gonna do all waivers? You can do all three waivers, you're gonna do them individually. Oh my gosh. I think you'd want B. B seems to be more applicable. 
I'll go with B. Okay. Do you want to add that into your <laughs> add that into your motion? What? Because of I B. Go with B. Yep. I was always told when I'm taking a test, pick B if you don't know the answer. <laughs> Well, since B is, and just kind of for the record, uh, specific circumstances relative to the subdivision or conditions of the land in such subdivision indicate that the waiver will properly carry out the spirit and intent of the regulations. So in this case, we, we already have all of these existing lots. We're just reducing the number of sizes of lots. So, And to still call this a subdivision, which I understand it is, is a really lame excuse to call it a subdivision. <laughs> Because it's well, I think in my eyes, it's not. To me, it's barren. <laughs> well, it is from from Sessler's point of view. I, I agree with that. I, I, that's why I prefaced that saying that you know, from a legal standpoint, it is a subdivision. Okay, so that so that was your motion. Yep. Based it, on circumstance B. B. Do we have a second? I'll second that. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Yes. Yeah, so just to be clear, if I'm looking at the plan here, it says that the wetland delineation was completed on September. 2021 that is shown on this plan that's stamped by uh, by Bailey is this it will be stamped yes thank you it's what it will be stamped but it Jessica. will be stamped it is not stamped right it now. is not currently stamped I don't do the process of putting the stamps on until the final plan is right Jessica Bailey and, and she this, was born. <laughs> this plan so these wetlands that are shown on here uh, the result of what she's going to be stamping to, right? Or correct, attesting to. And this is what the Conservation Commission received to review. That's what the Conservation receives a review, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Any further comments, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? I will abstain. Okay. All right. Move on. Now we now we review for completeness. Anything? No, I tried to I find stuff place. for you to fix, but it was just only one additional um a butter to add that was already on the plan. second add that's fine that's it okay joe lee <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion for completeness i'll make a motion that application i'm sorry p2126 no. It's complete. No, oh, it's sorry. 1926. It's supposed to be 2126. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have motion. We have second. I'll second. Second by Bob. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Okay. All right. So, um, Jessica, was there anything else on this that grabbed your eye? Um, no, I've, I've gone through this uh, several times back when um, Justin was coming in for a you know, potential involuntary lot merger. So I'm pretty familiar with everything and it looks, um, looks great. Steve came in and sat with both John and I um, before he submitted the application. So. Looks pretty straightforward. All right. Steve, do you want to walk us through, uh, do your best fan of white? What you have on the plan on this side is the highlight of all 12 lots. Tract. And then the individual tracks right down. So that's existing as it sits. What we're proposing one lot, two lot, three lot, four lot, five lot. 
And those three small ones are already built on. These are already sold off back in 1955. And those are the double so ones. So we had no there. control, no say, no nothing. Right. This one was sold off in the 60s. So that's all out of our control. So it's literally these five lots is the average. Not, not that I think it makes any difference, but can you put that over here? Yep. So it looks like there's a house on the parent lot and the driveway goes through another lot. Right. What we're doing is we're just taking that lot and putting it all together with all the other lots to make that a lot. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think it makes a difference, but it's just, just something that I, that yes. I noticed. So, so before, what was it a right away through the lot or somebody owned? <laughs> Someone owned all of them and they, they just all together. Used it all. Back in the day, yeah. they took a ruler and like, <laughs> <laughs> made it out. <laughs> Traced each side of the ruler. Yeah, exactly. So, wow. so at the end of the day, all of the all of the new lots will be in excess of two acres. Correct. Right. And have over two hundred feet of frontage. Meet all the today's zoning requirements. Nice job. I think that's great. I'm I'm surprised that somebody would do that. <laughs> I know. No. I that, know. That's, that's actually was a subdivision back in the 1950s yeah. um, that Brad Jones's dad had done. Grandfather, G. Vinton grandfather? Jones. Yeah, the Brad, Brad actually you know. came in and talked to us about G. the whole history on that. And he was key for leaving little slivers of stuff to get for places. Camp, yeah, and for, <laughs> like, he was going to set it up for like um, cabins for hunting. He didn't do uh, one of the Sixty Highlands, did he? No, but he did Mount Major Park and all that area there. That was done by him um, over there on uh, 28A. Melanson did one of it, some of the islands. That he did. All right. So, so Melanson back, did some of the rattlesnake and things like that. Getting back on track here. Um, yeah. Case at hand. <laughs> the, yeah. Um, so, do we have uh, any more thoughts or comments from the board on this? Or. No, I think um, it's a great thing to bring them into conforming laws. <laughs> It will probably mean a plus to the assessed value overall to the town having a lot that's a real lot versus, you know, I think it will enhance the tax base. Make it much more saleable. Yes. Well, yeah. Well, much more. It's a better lot. You know, Public. Room for the, well, room for well, the septic. Room actually, room to put on a septic. A real house a well, a too. Little tiny little thing box. On it yeah. Make it usable. Um, <laughs> right, is anybody from the public here for uh, input on this? Yeah. So if you could just uh, state your name. For the uh, hi, I'm uh, Terry Ryback. Um, I own uh, 285 Avery Hill Road. My uh, property abuts Justin's on one side. Um, I have no problems whatsoever with what he's doing there. And stand up dude, doing a good job. Um, no issues whatsoever with it. Great, thank you. It's nice to hear. Yeah. It's great to hear from nice neighbors or the neighbors that yeah. don't want anything. <laughs> uh, any other public comment? All right, we'll close public session. So, anything else from the board? Entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, case P21-26, voluntary boundary line adjustment, Avery Hill Road uh, in Alton. I move to approve the, I, I'm gonna call it a subdivision or the merger, I guess, the lot merger um, with uh, subsequent conditions and conditions precedent. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Virgil. Any other comments, <coughs> thoughts, discussion? Well, just one little comment. Once again, we don't mean anything, but we called it a voluntary lot line adjustment, but it's, it's essentially he's volunteering to do it on his own, but that gives- He can't do a lot line adjustment without us. Right. He's so, doing, but voluntarily merging some lots, but he's doing a lot line adjustment with the planning board's approval. So it's the just parts. a lot line adjustment. It's not a yeah, yeah, but it, it's yeah. It's like a it's like a voluntary lot merger. Yeah, in a way, it, it's not because he Legally, is merging some, adjusting others. Yeah, so. right. Jim Sessler has banged on my head a bunch of times saying it's a subdivision. <laughs> well, from his point of view, in the legal world, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. 
I get it. You right. know, for tracking and sales and whatnot, you want to have it all tidy and nice and neat. I've always had an issue with that. If subdivision is creation of more lots. Yeah. We're reducing lots. You're not subdividing not anything. Subdivision. I know. That's from a surveyor standpoint. But <laughs> a lawyer. Okay. Be you don't play one on TV. Sense approach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, sense approach. so we have a motion. We have a second. Um, and there, any more discussion pertinent to the motion? No. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. You know, we haven't night. done the opposed. <laughs> and abstentions. Okay. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. night. Have a good night, guys. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So next case, P21-27. It's a uh, design review. <laughs> um, this is up at the uh, Christian Conference Center. Yeah. Yep. Um, Mr. Chairman, seeing that you've got plenty here, I'm going to accuse myself for this one. I do a lot of work for that. Okay. You're accusing yourself? In the, in the past, <laughs> hopefully in the future. We'll accuse you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Roger's yeah. recusing himself. Um, Jessica, do you? And I would just like it known Stephanie has done work for me as well, but this has no basis on what we're doing so <laughs> um, so upon reviewing um the plan and the abutters list um i came across two abutters that were not on the list they should have gotten noticed for this meeting and they weren't which was um the original preparer of the plan and the soil scientist that has his stamp on on the front page. You guys really can't move forward with this yeah, without I, their exactly. without yep. them I, noticing. I, I gave it. them the opportunity to um, send me an email up until six o'clock tonight, whether they approved it or not, and I haven't received anything. Well, who approved can it? Can I can I jump in at all? Um, are we able to, can we withdraw plans sheet one and sheet two from the packet to kind of eliminate that as the, those be part of the packet anymore? Good question. I'll see about this list for you guys is a horrible thing to have to do. It, it's, <laughs> it's the whole thing, right? Yeah. It's not just one piece of it. But oh. this is a... Design review. Yeah. Okay, so this is just design review. So nothing is binding by this at all. It's not, but you can't move forward with the conversation without them being noticed. Right. They, okay. they and and I, the information, some of the information that's on this front page is part of the, some of their clients. Yeah. So I've, on the checklist. I've updated a waiver request list. I have a copy for everyone. If we're allowed to withdraw those plans and submit this new waiver um, requests. I think it's the, the deal is that it's the whole hearing, the whole fact that we, we're talking about this proposal. You have to no, properly notify anybody who'd be affected by it. So I think, I think that's yeah, I don't say. I, I don't think it would be appropriate for us to proceed tonight on this. I think we should probably bump this out and, and give you another month to get all the, the proper notifications done um waiver request whatever you want to amend your application i think i think that's the proper move okay um well we should give it a date specific uh 16 I believe this is 16 november 16 yeah yes yes november 16 Mr. Chairman, I'll move on case P21-27 to postpone the hearing until the November 16, 2021 planning board meeting. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Bob. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's life. Yeah. Life happens too much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>
Can it be bigger ones of these? Yeah, they should be turned into the right there. Well, Jessica, has, Jessica has one. Oh, okay. Jessica should have like a fistful of them. Because I mean, there's a lot of stuff. In the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Ten pounds of in a five-pound bag. Get better eyeglasses. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm not on it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but you want to know. <laughs> You're the only one complaining. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry Sorry good evening. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Okay, next case, uh, P2128. It's another voluntary lot merger. And this is actually two lots over in Alton Shores that are owned by the town of Alton. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's here to represent the town of Alton. Um, Must I on? Hi. And of course, you have to tell us your name. Liz Dion, town administrator for the town of Alton. Thank you. So this is all complete. And uh, so it's just, we don't have any waivers, right? So, so we go for the completeness. So I will- Look enter, good, Jess. I will enter the motion. Yep. Make a motion. We accept the case uh, P2128 as complete. Second. Do I have a second? I did. No, oh, Scott. Scott. <laughs> I know I'm out of swing. It's a little too quick. <laughs> I switched sides of the table on me or right. something here. Uh, okay. Uh, any any discussion at all on that? So, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Crickets. Okay. So, um, I actually had to ask about this one. So, Liz, do you want to give us a, a quick why? Certainly, um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, these two lots in question are um, tax deeded properties, and we are having a uh, an auction of tax deeded properties next month on November twentieth here in this room. And um, it was thought that with these two particular lots, it may may be better to merge them together as one parcel for the auction because there are some issues involving um, the two lots, some minor issues, but important enough that it raised some concern. As uh, are they title issues? Sorry to interrupt. Are they title issues or are they? No. Okay. Nope. Because I know the town has sold some other ones with title issues and it was a horror show for someone. <laughs> no, these, these titles are fine on these two lots. I have a, a copy of a tax map here, which the code official indicated on here. So as an example, some of the issues are the two lots have been used by the previous owner as one. Um, so their conduct would have indicated that it was used as one. So as an example, there was a house on lot 62, which burned yeah. in 2012. However, the driveway to get to that lot on is on lot 63, as well as the wellhead. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is an but issue. Both lots have frontage, right? Issue of the septic. Uh, yeah, well, system, they have... which is on one or the other. The code official was not able to determine which lot, and there are no records in the town records on the septic for, or um, the these either of these two lots. So it, it just would be neater to merge them together, sell it as one one lot. Then you have water potential, septic, and a driveway, and a larger lot. Now the camp that was there that burned down is that correct? Yes. Cottage. Yes. Yeah, which lot was that on 62? It was on so 62. 62. Yeah. Okay. And has that been cleared away? Yes. yes. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Do these lots in Alton Shores have um, beach access? Yes. They all so to several beaches. Several, there's four beaches. Yeah, so to go there's with these. beaches. So it is within an association that is in that area. Right. So does, but it's not does, a does that have any by pushing these two together? Does that have any effect on that? It's it's not a mandatory association. One of the problems with it up there, which it would be great if it was, but it's not. And so I, th th they just assess the people who. Um, I think they, they, they have a undeveloped lot membership and then they have a developed lot membership, I believe. That's Plus, a great question. You're right. Though. And, I mean, and they are expecting... responsible for all the roads other than Alton Shores yeah, and whatever yeah. town roads. I think Marlene's town now, isn't it? Yeah, I think they have a little water system up there. Is the, right. Is the lake access have... part of the deed? Excuse me? Is the lake access part of the deed? Yes. I, oh, the cover, part of the covenants, yes. So if by putting these two together and they both have access, I don't know, it does, maybe it's not a problem. But they have access to both Sunset and Hills Pond. Yeah, so they would still have equal access, whether it's not like they have, they can have twice as many trips to the beach. <laughs> uh, but um, but I, I think from a, it's interesting, you said it's a voluntary association but yeah which i was involved in one of those once it never worked good no never good <laughs> um so so it probably is not as much of an issue everyone wants to use like it the, no the pay dues <laughs> and things like that and you know because they were collecting two lots worth of yeah, dues so and it now. sounds like stuff. but we're sending it to auction my feeling is and it always has been is that you make more money selling two lots separately separately and it's you make well, more money for the taxpayers. On the other hand, though, you get a much more saleable lot in in that area by selling the two lots as one. And also, if they've been used in conjunction, it's one they used to be used. They used to be deemed as already combined. It's one that the well, town didn't already previously merge them right. together. To be honest they with you, merge until the town merges them. Or, or the owner of the lots come in and say, I want them merged. There's still two separate lots there. Right. But if they're used in conjunction with one another, then they're, they're nor they used to be, ask Jim Sessler, they, they were deemed the, the to. Thing been, when the thing when they came down and saying that they had unmerged all these lots, that, that just created a, a ball of problems. I mean, yeah. but it is what it was because merging together lots involuntary wasn't the right thing to do either. <laughs> right. But to your, to your point, Virgil, in this case, the owner is before the board asking to merge the lots. Right. right. So, and also, I, taxpayers, not the in, uh -huh, representing the owner. In the uh, the board of selectmen did take a vote on September twenty third to ask that these two be merged together. Right. So that's what we had to deal with. Yeah. It does mm -hmm. alleviate so the problem, correct? So the, yes. if, if the, no, the, the selectmen decided that they want to merge them, and that's what we have to react to in that only. There is a well already there, and then a future septic system probably has to be built it's on each lot. Yeah. Well's well's on one lot. There's a septic system there, but I wouldn't think it would be worth anything. And it's the uh, kind of like the buyer beware sort of thing. Yeah. It's up to the whoever buys it. Well, that, some with those postage first. stamp lots, it just makes sense to have a bigger lot. And that system is old, so it's more than likely. Yeah. No good. John, at any rate, would require a replacement system if they elected to use oh, it, yeah. if you could even use it. So, yeah. Stupid sure. question. If somebody was to buy that as one, could they turn around and re? No. It doesn't so mean no, it. No. We it, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't meet any of the regulations. You can't unmerge it because it doesn't meet the regulations. If it was big enough, you could unmerge it. Say it was a 10-acre yeah, lot. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right now, but, no, yeah. right now it's, it's two house lots. It's probably 20,000 square feet, the both of them. <laughs> no, so what you're doing, what the town's doing is making it more conforming, but it's not conforming. Anyway is near it. Anyway is near it. And so to, to if a further action was to take it apart again, that would make it less conforming. And we would be well, that's the idea when they buy the double lots up there because they supply water to a lot of these cottages, but it's seasonal. Yeah. They weren't meant to be year-round houses up in there. They make it seasonal and they shut the water system down and people have to go by, I think it's a- But, I mean, there's no legal requirement that you have. You can't use your property. No. Just the water. No, oh, they end up buying another lot and then putting the well because you ain't got enough for a septic and a well. Mr. Chairman, one point. 
Um, we do not allow other people to do merging without plans. This is a tax map. This is not a legal document whatsoever. I, I, I worry about giving the town something to do which the regular homeowner or property owner cannot enjoy the same thing. And I think that's a wrong thing to be doing. There's, there's never a need to have a, an official surveyed. Well, we've plan. had them. It's not a requirement. Yeah, yeah, we're just saying lots of record. I think that's right. Don't necessarily have to see all the pieces. So just to be clear on that, that is not a requirement to have a surveyed submission. Why do, we make, or why do we make the people do it? We don't. I don't think we do. Like lot, um, lot line adjustments. Maybe. If it were an adjustment, it wouldn't be required, correct? If For a lot, if line, were adjustment, a lot yes. line adjustment, yes. An official surveyed plan it, is a requirement. Okay. But to merge lots together, but, yeah. no. Pre-existing lots. Correct. Okay. Any no? more discussion? I'll make a motion that uh, we approve case P2128. Seconded by Russ. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Virgil opposes? Any abstentions? No? All right. You're the only opposer at the meeting, Birch? Yeah. <laughs> So was. And there's a form that you have to sign. Why well, I have to stick to the guy. Nothing wrong with that. Signature. Oh, I think two titles. Like the title. Good day. Yeah, what do you Thank you. Do Thank you. Speed that one through. Run around and try to. Thank you, Liz. Oh, no. Right. Make money at the auction. Uh, I can't already. see. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. All right, so uh, moving on under other business, old business. Um, a second was needed for case P20-20, Christian I Camps and Conference, it. Inc. Camp Brookwoods when we granted their extension to start. Can we have if I didn't already? Yeah, I'll, so just we, a, I'll second it. a second was missing. Oh, once I, once okay. I, we did it, we just failed to second it. I'll okay. second it. It was a motion made and you guys voted. You just didn't second it. Why we'll all second it. Why nice job catching that, by the way. Chairman. Why didn't they just pick somebody and write their name in? Uh, she's got to do it officially. Yeah, she, so you you have well, just her luck. That would be the one that called her on the carpet on. Okay, so Virgil seconded. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Who made the motion in the first place? Nobody made the motion. Oh, of that? I don't know. But that was uh, previously. That would have been Jess the just last made a motion. Meeting. Yeah. I just want to make sure okay. Virgil's doing so, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's true. Wow. It's in here either. So Mr. Hoops moved to grant the extension. Okay. Mr. There you go. Tom, you didn't remember? Mr. Wilder <laughs> thought that the extension should be granted to a date certain. I thought I thought he seconded it. All right. No. All right. Virgil seconded it. All right. Um CIP committee update. Um, Roger, do you want me to give that update? I don't think you were at that last meeting. Uh, no. Okay. CIT, where are we at? We are uh, we are meeting again uh, this Thursday night. Um, we have a couple more department heads that we're going to meet with. We have another meeting next Thursday night. We're going to meet with the last two department heads. And then at our subsequent meeting, we're going to start crunching numbers. Um, I think we have a tough go this year. There's a lot on our plan. It's a lot on everything. And, um, yeah, I, well, I think well, this I, year it's going to be pretty tricky. I, I think you're going to have a lot of pushback because assessments made a jump this year, and people are going to be <laughs> even though the, even though the, but the tax I understand going. that, but that everybody's not going to sing that same song as you, Bob. <laughs> Got to look at the bottom line. I know. I know. <laughs> the stuff that everybody wants I, I don't see how it's going to go down i see it going up it is 
Well, you, you gotta, it's going to be a tough go, but we'll we'll we definitely be do able our best. To cut back or yeah. move stuff out to keep that down. Correct. We've done over the years. Right. If you pick a linear line, yes. that's good. Yeah, that's what we usually. That's how do. we got down to the ninety-nine cents a year. Yeah. To get, to get it leveled out. And that, that's that's the, the master plan is contending with the same set of issues, by the way. Well, everybody's going to. I mean, this is going to be a, yeah. a different well, the town, year when the tax bills come out. The town needs a few things because it's got to update, for instance, the door lock so we know who's coming in and out of buildings. Yeah. It's Controlled gonna update access. cameras on town property so we stop getting stuff stolen. Yeah. You know, I mean, we the stuff is. 30, 40 years old. It's got to be brought up to date so we know who's in and out. We know. But the 99 cents should cover those things, and those some of those things should take I thought priority. we had that system when Grace Woods was here. Yeah. Wow, that's a word I haven't heard in a yeah, while ago. <laughs> oh, in other words, I had a special key that I used to come in and out of the building. Right. And but the one we're going to do is you're going to have a code. Yeah. And it's going to be. It'll be recorded. Right through the. Computer system, Good. so we'll know That's exactly who's person specific. In and out. Yeah, yeah, it makes All sense. That. Every town building, <coughs> aka controlled access. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we've got to do it. Right here in town. And it's, I'll be right back. Okay. Not that complex. <laughs> that's it. That's, well, that's <laughs> just some of help the stuff you, Roger? that we have to update. <laughs> <laughs> it just can't keep going the way we're going. Nope. So Good. Our, our, our next plan. We've had converters stolen. We've had a lot of stuff. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are they stealing from here? Wow. Cut them off the town trucks. No cameras. Our next planning board meeting is when the CIP committee plans on presenting the plan. Right. Okay. So I will make sure that you guys get that plan In ahead of time yeah. so that you have a chance to um, review everything. So that's so CIP committee. That okay. Uh, master plan committee update. Uh, we did not meet last month. Yeah. Uh, the 16th. We didn't have enough people 16. to attend. November 16th. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. What we have received in the meantime is uh, first. Uh, blush, if you will, of uh, some of the updates to the uh, chapter one, two, three, and I think four uh, of the master plan, it, more or less an outline. This will be reviewed at our next meeting, which is next Wednesday, I uh, believe. November 3rd, I think it is. November 3rd. That's a week from November Wednesday. November 3rd, a week from Wednesday. Yeah. I need to um, get a copy of that. <laughs> and uh, okay. at that point, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape to do a more detailed presentation to you guys. Uh, if that's the right order of uh, doing things. And uh, it won't be complete by any stretch, but you'll have a pretty good idea of where we're headed. And uh, uh, co-chair would, or vice chair, would you like to add anything to that? Are we gonna be able to review those two, Bob? Pardon me? Are we gonna be able to review those two? Oh yeah, in fact, Have, you can see this stuff available. now if you want. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Jessica can make that available to you if you'd like to. Have but, you seen the results of the survey yet? Yes. Yeah, she saw that. He saw Impressive. That. But um, they're, they're all over the place, but they're certain directions. Like the but I there's like, a lot yeah. of people that did it, which is it, which good. The, the me next, how many people you got? The next planning, the next master plan committee meeting, I'm hoping that we go through this in detail right. and really wash it good. Right. Yeah, and, and if, that's what I mean. After you, yep. that's what I mean. Do we get to review it after you guys are done watching it yeah, out? But take a look at what, what you, you can look right at now. it as we go along. A, a, any input you want to give us, we want it. Okay. So you're not excluded. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, no, you're just too busy. You're invited. <laughs> You can do it in your spare time. Can't imagine that. <laughs> if you'd like, Virgil, we can volunteer you. <laughs> he, I think he has Friday nights free right now, right? <laughs> anyway, just to give my two cents worth of opinion of what we've got so far, I'm very happy with it. And and I think we, we've got a foundation that we can definitely build on at this point. So she's pretty good to work with then, huh? She's done. She's fabulous. That is great. Great. That's good. Very, very even-handed. She, she, she could be charging us much more money than she is. Don't put that in the Jess. <laughs> Jess, would you think? Late. Jess, would you think she might be um, to do the um, small house? Would she be someone that maybe we should look at? Because we, we're not going to deal with that this year. So maybe we can put a couple of dollars in the budget for us to help us with that. I, because I, I, I just see our group. We have great intentions. But we're having a hard time getting traction on on what to say yeah. in the 
in the ordinance. That's when you need something like this. You know? Yeah. I'd like to. I've already presented my budget. Yeah, but we can overspend it. it. Yeah, but <laughs> one article and explain it at the library session. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be a ton of money. No, no, because I already asked her um, when you had mentioned that, you know, I don't know, a I'm couple meetings ago, I asked her and she said that she'd be willing to, you know, throw in some hours or chunks of time here. Can and you there get a proposal a from her, maybe? Project because or, I'm it's sure. going to be open ended. I mean, because we really don't know what well, we want to do yet. Yeah, the other possibilities, people, Scott. Well, you've used her already in town and you're having great luck with her. I'm sure the people in town would understand that. Hey, we need her for this because this is up and coming. Yeah, well, but people in the houses town, and we need help. Don't know but the alternative, no, the public did, did, explain at delivery session. Fab the alternative uh, housing uh, stuff. Yeah, that's part of this anyway. Good. So within the context of the master plan, that's true. I, yes, I think that's very. I, I, I think it would be valid to ap approach her doing work yeah. in that context. Expand and get in more detail on that. Correct. Because to, to write a, and maybe even also the other one that we're it's wrestling with is the um, um, the rentals there. Term rentals. Yeah, yeah, the Airbnb. Airbnb yeah. That's something else that we've, you know, we've got to be careful with that. And I, uh, it, That could also be uh, addressed by the alternative housing committee. Well, also, I think that, you know, in talking with Jessica, I think we're going to have to have a, a town committee. It, it, it's. I think so, you probably so right. You have to, to bring people in. Let's, to, let's, educate let's kind them. of let's reel this in just for a minute here. So we're we're still on the master plan. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mini yeah. update. We buy that um, already. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to bring closure to this. Are we? Are, are you guys good on that? Or. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so the next thing on was a, another invoice from Tara, and and how are we doing on the total allocated amounts? Are we? We are. Uh, so the remaining. The remaining amount is twelve thousand nine hundred fifty dollars and one cent. Are you going to use all that? Are we? Um, yes. So okay. as, as she has um, asked the committee if we felt that, you know, if she could do more, you know, some of the actual writing of it, you know, kind of a little bit more of what we originally had asked if her you're for. Not if you're not going to use it all this year, don't forget to encumber the funds. You know. Yep. So. Um, <laughs> We definitely oh, yeah, so want to get her. She has uh, been very efficient. That way. Oh, really? Oh, she yes. has been very efficient with the money that she spent so far. Oh. So she's completing. Oh, they do. Yes. She's completing her scope of work with le for less money than she said than she I did. did so she's offering to say, with the extra money that's still in my contract, I'll be willing to do more work. So. Yeah, but it has to be in the same flavor of what she's going oh at. yeah no it's the same yeah. thing but it's just that she can give us more help was that yeah that that's yeah. i'm good with it was and sixty dollars an hour that's a bargain and and, and a at a point I, I think hang, 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 did hang you on. have a run out date on that article when it was voted on for her uh, money? it was good for four years oh okay so four or five set. years oh, good beautiful yeah. Yeah. okay or whenever the money was spent yeah, yeah. good did, i think we can look at that incrementally <laughs> as we go along well do you think you're going to add money to it not right now. The, th the thing about it is, is if you add money to it, you'd have to stay under the auspice of what you went for the first time. Right. And so if you want to include other things in the bag of tricks, you got to well, include I'm, them. I'm just asking that because it's 12,000 going to be enough to get you through at where you got want to be. Right. So I think you know what I mean. Right. So I think at our meeting on November 3rd, that that is going to be part of the discussion okay. sort of where where is she at? And, and through that whole, you know, um, spending more funds to help present the plan at the November right. 16th meeting, sort of where is she going to be at at the end of that? Well, that's how much I'm is asking. left over and what can she get done with that? And then we have enough time to maybe throw in another Warren article for well, that's why I'm asking X amount of money. Want to make sure you've got enough time to get it in. Yes. Get it all approved and get it in front of the people. Yep. You know, to make sure you got enough to get to the well, end result. What's the rough yeah. deadline for yep. that? Virtual. And, and Jess, have, have you uh, talked to her? See if this is. You know what? If, if you guys talk at the same time, it doesn't show up oh, on sorry. the on the recording. I just throw that bump. out there. Go ahead. I'm trying to think of the list. I do believe it's the 11 January. January. I think I think that's what it is. I, I'm trying to remember the list because there's a list with all the dates and everything. 
when the warrant articles are in are due for? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. When you're gonna have the warrant articles in. That and petition articles probably, right? No, yep. yeah. Yeah. Days before. Really? Because it's uh, okay. Yeah. It's going to take me a minute to go through this, so I'd, okay. we're fine for right now. Oh, you don't have my list. No. It's what it is. By any chance, did you talk to Tara to see if that, you know, housing committee would be something upper alley? Uh, that was definitely, yes. So that okay. was something that she'd be interested in. Okay, so maybe we'll talk about that more when we have our next meeting. Yep. <clears throat> um, all right, so next, uh, Zach committee update <laughs> well the zach committee has uh we, we've really settled on everything <clears throat> at this point with the exception of one big bomb <clears throat> that's the airbnb type of uh situation <clears throat> we've had people come in and, and say that they probably think we should have a, a public committee on it <clears throat> it's probably a good way to go i think because i think this can be misconstrued and I think if the planning board put forward a proposal, I mean, what we have now is like four or five pages. And I just don't see a chance in this earth that someone's going to approve a, a five page zoning ordinance. I, I just think it, it, they're not going to read it. They're going to say, oh, no. They try to hold something. So we've got to somehow they live next door. To it, they'll understand it, but we, we've got to find a way to boil this down into shorter language so people understand, but it's not too much that you're not going to want to understand it. Go ahead, Bob. Doesn't the Airbnb uh, organ business unit or organization, don't they have pretty specific guidelines? Yeah, Airbnb, that? what we we're understanding, they have quite a bit of guidelines, but that's not to stop Mr. Smith from doing the same thing on his own who has no, no guidelines. My, my point being that if, if we were to align ourselves with some of the existing <laughs> organizations, which which have some form of regulation, that may that may be a- Yeah, a they, they way, can provide us documentation of what to do, but well, go ahead. The other thing you can do is have Liz send it down to um, the municipality. It's the association. They will help. Right. Yeah, I, I think a lot of language. a lot of towns are wrestling with this. Oh, yeah. This type of rental property. I don't want to call it Airbnb. Short term rental. Yeah, yeah, short yeah, term rental. Yeah, it's yeah. important to refer to it as short term <laughs> right, rental. Right. Because I don't want to point out anybody. Well, yeah. Conway had a big thing with it, and they're still having a big thing, as far as I know. Yeah. The most <laughs> impressive thing, though, through these Zach meetings was the amount of public present at these meetings. And the input and the active participation, right? It's just been incredible. Th I mean, this is definitely a, a point of interest to the community. Oh yes, yeah. and, so. and we've got the pros and we got the cons, and 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 you know, and and there is middle ground. There is reasonableness in the people that were here, um, but I think I think you're right. I think well, that. We need to really open this up to the whole town, right? There, well, because it, a lot more of it in town. That there's a lot more of the short-term rental that people don't realize. Well, well, that was that's like Tom said. Unless you, unless you're right beside them or within a few houses of them, nobody realizes what's how yeah, fast. I mean, you guys, you got Craigslist, <laughs> Facebook, yeah. Airbnb, Venmo, or whatever the heck that thing's yeah, been. Called. I, I, mean, I think it's, it's an historical. <laughs> so, what's that, Bob? Chairman? I think there's an historical element too. I think there have been a lot of properties, especially the uh, seasonal properties that have been getting rented on right. a short-term basis for you know, a very long time. And you don't really want to screw that up. The, the right. cabins that we've right. had in the past have mainly fallen to the wrecking ball and they built a McMansion. I mean, you know, so those are things. And we're, that's why we're looking at the alternative housing is to be able to provide, hopefully, some cottage type rental available for someone who can't afford something on the lake you know it'll be in the backlands but you know they can have a boat trailer and take it to the lake and enjoy the area as we know it because you know we're a four seasons town and back when i was a kid you know the snow season was even very low your father drove the ski bus and for a buck we got to ride to gunstock and uh, 
And so, um, you know, it's different. There's all, I mean, the winter months are popular and even the fall months are, you know, it, we always used to joke that we rolled up the sideways after la- sidewalks after Labor Day. Who's joking you know? about that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. no. So it's been, it's so, so yeah, you're right. So on the Zach committee, we really have basically boiled down everything else except right. for that albatross and, and that I think we've got to push that aside and keep working on it. But some against? Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. had both. Yeah. I would think the against would be well, apparently a higher lot. Very As reasonable. was saying that there were there's a lot of stuff in the the different Facebook communities. And I think the pros and cons were pretty balanced as far as who was for and who was against. So, I mean, it was We had one person who balanced. was concerned, but she realized later that she, what she's doing is perfectly legal because she's in the rural zone. Um, right. But I think that the, the consensus is, is that with a responsible management of this, really nobody has a big problem. I, I right. think is the general idea. If there's an owner at the, at the location. That's there's, the difference. There's we've, no problem. Yes. We've had people in that will be owner occupied adjacent to this type of rental. That's going to um, weigh a lot different than, oh, I bought this and I, I'm gonna, right you know, head. I'm gonna charge X amount of dollars per head in the bed, and the more I can fit, the better off I am. I live that's, in Arkansas. But that's I'm the guy. It. That's the guy that's a problem. Oh, that's a property yeah. that's a problem. Right. But but there's a uh, there's another way to look at the whole thing, and that's uh, who has the liability when when such a rental occurs. That's that, and, yeah, that's that's not our worry about who's well, liable. I, I think that's where the regulation comes in. Well, that's the thing is without regulation. You what what are you hanging your hat on and what are the liabilities and, and well, who, what are the rules they're breaking and and so that's kind of the and we've got to be very, very careful not to over regulate because we're gonna get punched right. in the nose. Yep, absolutely. <clears throat> right. I'm gonna walk okay. that fine line. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, tough there was one. one lady who was saying that no matter what you do, there are a couple of people she knows are gonna sue. <laughs> yeah, well, she was pretty confident of that, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's Zach. Uh, on to new business approval of meeting minutes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, since I was not present yeah. at that meeting, I'd like to recuse myself. Okay. Oh, really? I'll make a motion. We accept the minutes as uh, presented. I'll second. Do I have a second for that? Second it. I'm seconded by Russ. Uh, and Roger, you weren't there either, right? So, so all those in favor? I abstain. I, I was absent. Yep. Okay, so you abstain, Roger. You abstain, Bob. Are you abstaining? I'm saying abstain. I'm an I. I was here. And Bill was, was here was as the alternate. He's somebody. an I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other business come before the board? We decided that. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we just back up for one second? Sure. So that was a motion to approve the minutes as amended. Because what? we had to add that second. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes. oh, good point. Yes. I'll make that. No, I heard that. As amended. Thank yeah, you. I heard that. Thank you. And I'll second the we'll catch Jess. I don't want to mess him up again. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp. Uh, any other business? Is, uh, it's CIPs very rare you mess up on minutes, so Jess. Um, very rare. Yeah. Any public input? On... So for number three, um, so. Um, I actually met with Amelia today. I oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I skipped right over um, that. And so we had a very nice discussion and she misses all of us. And she really still wants to be a part of the town. Um, so she had asked for me to send her an application for the master plan committee. You tell her the board said she's a quitter. She can't come. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, no, we'll take her. She's, was, a, she's we a nice having, kid. We were she having is. issues back and forth with her actually submitting the application before the meeting, but she says, yes, definitely. She wants to be on the committee. So if you guys can um, take that into consideration and make a motion. People and the more younger people we can get on. Committee. Yes. So we are. Right. Right. Yes. I'll move to approve Amelia to be on the master plan committee. Exactly. I'm sorry about Bob, exactly. but uh, so, here it so comes. Subject to her Subject, actually getting yeah. the application. Yeah. 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 I tell you, okay. this is the first year I've seen people come forward as alternates on all the boards, people. I mean, it's 
I don't know what's yeah, changing great. in town. Look what I see tonight. Forward for this is great. Yeah, some uh, people, people are caring. People. Yeah, <laughs> about yeah. All right, so we have a motion. We have a second. I'll second it. Yeah. So I think Virgil already seconded. Yeah, I did second. Yeah. Any uh, any further comment? All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Of course not. Okay. All right. Um, correspondence. No. No. Um, there was no public here. Um, so uh, I'll entertain one last motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll move to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? I object. I <laughs> Good, Tom. You can sit here while we all go home. You're the minority. <laughs> you can go back to Canada. <laughs> I am going. So what's the story going in and out of